welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Scythria Elites. We have a Demacia deck with all of the Scythrias in it. We have Scythria of Cloudfield, Scythria the Bold, and then at the top end, Scythria Lady of Clouds. I know there is the, the uh, Vanguard Squire for mana card that does have the art of Scythria on it. But in here, we're just uh, building a deck with the uh, with just the, the three named Scythria cards. Since we got Scythria Lady of Clouds, we're going to use Spectral Matron as well, because we all know how great that combination is. Start getting those Scythrias out on round 8 instead of round 10. So we're going to have those two together. But then besides that, we're going to be building Elites, and we're going to have um, Poppy and Garen as our two champions. They are two champions that really like to attack and uh, you know reward us for attacking and everything we're gonna play a couple grand plazas in here allow us to get some different challengers like um you know poppy with challenger or garen with challenger is pretty nice because then you know poppy you can challenge something small make sure poppy stays alive you know garen just beats up everything basically <laughs> so we're gonna have that uh those two together of course we're also gonna have like honored lord in here um that gets the barrier whenever it challenges and Penitent Squire to go along with uh, a lot of these other elites. And of course, we're going with the elites because Scythrias are elites. Right? All three Scythrias are elites. Um, so there we go. So that's going to be our deck. I uh, just couldn't quite fit in the Vanguard Squire, you know, play, playing Redeemer instead because, uh, Re you know, Redeemer is three mana normally and, and uh, that Squire at four, even though it does have the cost reduction, it's just kind of in an awkward spot. So. Uh, Anyway, there we go. If you if you do want to play Vanguard Squire in the deck, that's probably where it would probably fit in is, is over the Vanguard Redeemers. Um, but we're going to go ahead and keep those Redeemers. All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. Scythria Elites. We're playing on over in normal with our meme tier Scythria Elite deck. Okay, Aurelia Azir is our first one. Unfortunately, no Radiant Guardian. Radiant Guardian would be the card for this matchup. We can keep double battlesmith and we'll keep a sharp sight. Like those are those are good quality cards. They're not necessarily the best blockers. But man, our elites are gonna, gonna be looking much better. Poppy plus Scythria is pretty cool. You know, you get to uh, You get to have Poppy uh, grow everything and Scythria grow everything, and then you give them all fearsome. Pretty nice little combo. Yeah, not going. Yeah, the Vanguard Defender has tough. You know, that's the elite with tough. That's a good one to have in this matchup because just tough units in general are good to have in this matchup. All right, getting the other Battlesmith in play. So this thing's gonna be. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Let's get the Silverwing Vanguard. The like Garen has the regen, so we kind of want to get the Garen in play. By my side. But multiple, you know, four-three challengers is just really nice to have. Hands of fortune, not fighting. Taking 12. Those cards seem pretty fair. I guess we could go Garen. I don't know. I kind of feel like we're supposed to get these challengers out. Maybe we should have Garen. Left with one health. Mm -hmm. 
The Swiftwing flies better than the Silverwing Vanguard, but leaves the Silverwing Vanguard with two health. Basically, our only good news right now is they only have one card left. Hopefully, it's just not a very good card. <laughs> hopefully, it's not something that puts a whole lot of bodies in play. And hopefully, we get to play this Garen. I definitely need this Garen. Uh, yeah, I guess I can't stop that. For justice! For Demacia! Showtime! Does that actually work? That actually didn't work out too bad for us. Um, okay, well that worked out kind of bad for us. Well, So the Battlesmith definitely has to block. Like, they're all blocking. But I guess so I guess it doesn't matter. Like, you're blocking there. Can you just keep Battlesmith alive, we go to two. And eh, no, I probably shouldn't go to two. Still alive. For now. Oh. Wait. Wait. Yeah, never mind. Except that does kill me. Yeah, that does kill me. They could have just recalled my Garen in for lethal, but, you know, they're going to be able to replay the Ribbon Dancer. GG's. Yeah, you're right. I should have killed the 2-1. If I would have killed the 2-1 and then led with Grand Plaza exactly how I led with Grand Plaza there, we still we would have lost still. Yeah, they, they would just recall the Garen and... And then we lost. If if I would have killed the two one and then also led with the penitent squire instead of leading with Grand Plaza, which yeah I would not have done. I would have led with this. You know that's not what I would have done. But if I would have done that, then um, do I need this like second Honor Lord? I mean I guess Honor Lord's a good card. Then we could have stayed alive. This is kind of awkward though, right? Because we need a tattered banner first. Good people don't look the other way. It's okay, so we're just not gonna play the plaza. For the prince. So I can play the plaza on round four four instead of Poppy because we won't have the attack token on round four. We don't necessarily need to play the Poppy then. Then we can play the Poppy on five while we have the attack token. I don't think that makes sense to attack there. I don't even know if like, this 2-2 this two -two attacking makes much sense either. Alright, we're not going to go Grand Plaza. We're not going to get that greedy. Oh, wow. The old Ruthless Predator. Never mind, should have been greedy. Should have been greedy. Hmm. Nope. That's not ours. 
I have been sent by the king himself. Or the veil, dog, if you've hurt him. I guess we just kill them aloof travelers. We're gonna need board space. I could have, you know, I could have blocked and saved three life, right? So, like, I could be at 18 right now if I would have blocked. Keep them from pranking that card. New recruit reporting in. We're in a lot of trouble. Guess I should have played the Scythria and kept them from breaking that card. But. My heart and sword for the Poppy can buff up a lot of other stuff. It can. Yeah, I get five too. Uh, it can allow. It could have allowed me to play the Sithria also. All right, good. Not many more. Another one of their cards is another one of those 5 2 ephemeral, right? Pretty sure. That's a good hit. You dropped something. Oh. I dropped everything! Okay, didn't get rid of my poppy at least. But still, that card was worth a lot of cards. Or was gonna be. I think I keep sharp side available. I don't want an, you know another removal spell here to happen. I know that you'll play like the Sithra over the Battlesmith. A bright future, just as I've always known it would be. Nothing stands in our way. All right, so if I attack. They have just aloof travelers. They're taking 12, like to block these three. They're taking 12. Otherwise, I'm playing Scythria, who will only be three, four, five. Yeah, yeah. So Scythria can challenge, because Scythria can, you know, because that will have challengers. So Scythria can challenge the Zillion and try to kill that so they don't have that. But then they're going to be able to play like the 5 2 for a blocker. Um. You know, they'll be able to play the ephemeral the ephemeral five two, but we could try to challenge and kill Zillion. So I can't continue to make a million cards. I think I'm just, right just attacking. I can spend a whole fight wondering shield or hammer. I said wrong order, put Scythria, then, then Poppy first. That doesn't... I don't see how Scythria, then Poppy does any different over Scythria, these, then 
Poppy. I don't, I don't see any difference between the, those orders. Welcome. Good luck out there, recruit. Captain yeah, if I would have sharp sight, yeah, if I would sharp sight the poppy, then, then the poppy's buffing up the other two. Oh, if I would have used the sharp sight, but I, I wanted to hold on to the sharp sight, but yes, could have buffed them if I would have used the sharp sight. No, because the Scythria buff happens to everything. That's not how it works. It wouldn't be like Scythria buffs Poppy, then Poppy buffs them, then Scythria buffs them. No, it'd be Scythria on the left happens first to everybody, and then if Poppy was second, then it would happen. But it's, there's no difference. One second, let me go check on these dogs. So they know that's my play, they know that I have the sharp sight. That was revealed information. Okay, so the poppy does grow itself. We're gonna have 14-14 challenge here. I guess. If we just have... Challenge there, there. Oh, I don't have the other. I don't have the one that's making him fearsome. Never mind. I was thinking I was gonna be making him fearsome. We don't have that one that makes him fearsome, so they're just gonna be able to block everything anyway. Justice waits for no. Okay, looks like we got there. Alright, GG's. Cythria Elites 1 and 1. Okay, another Battle City deck. This one gonna be, you know, a little bit more aggressive towards our Nexus. Alright, Mulligan. A couple top end cards, we'll still keep Poppy. If we're going to be able to survive long enough till that Scythria, you know, like the game's probably going to be decided one way or another before that.
Good sharp sight save. I think I just want to do this Redeemer. It's just the problem with doing that Redeemer is, you know, I don't get to Poppy plus still have sharp sight. We do have backup Poppy. I guess I could double Battlesmith. But the problem with, like, going with Battlesmith at all or double Battlesmith is, you know, Mega Rain. That kind of stuff. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. That was the best card to have. Now they get to kill Pompey, but oh well, that's how it is. I still want to grow. Pompey would die to a one damage spell anyway, which they probably have plenty. It's been an ideal hand for them so far. Really ideal with the deck hands and make it rain. Ha, I got an idea. You would test my steel. My heart and sword for the muscle. I walked into it. Will prevail. Today's the day I find that hero. Sing with the darkness in your heart. The finest Demosian steel. Very good hand for a very good deck. Hammer. A little better you will sing. than our meme tier deck, I suppose, but just... No, no. Cards really lined up for them. Man, do they line up for them. Everything did. Now, any champion finishes this game. That also finishes the game. Looks like we need some Radiant Guardians in here. Very impressive showing for that deck. So I'm not sure exactly what Karma Brahm's going to be looking like. They're Karma with Freljord, so you, there's the... like. I, I imagine they're going to be playing um, the combo that's the 7 mana Frostbite card with leveled up combo. Because it double casts it, and so it it's just a one-sided ruination. So I certainly imagine they're going to be doing that combo. New recruit reporting in. I'll do my best. Omen Hawk plus Brom. All right, Saven's sharp sight mana. Which is probably what I need to do last game. You know, I probably need to play slower. Keep sharp sight mana available. I did not know that, that Tiana used to be an used to be elite. My shield is my sword. Good luck. I should play the swiftwing flight here. This one's on the house. Because Swift Swiftwing Flight has the, the challenger anyway. And then play Poppy next round. Ooh. Never mind. Alright, it worked out. So 
Five, four, three, two. Okay, so a couple of things here. Using that so we get to buff the Garen as well. I know that the Scythria attack is like good for my opponent because they get to clear a board space where they were full on the board. But in order for Poppy to level, it needs to attack with other allies. And I am fine with having that 3-2 trade. Or if they want to have the Braum take 3 damage here, I'm fine with that also. What's up, Peyton? Your attack is obvious. Coming in right on time. Got a couple of games left. Twin Disciplines beats Sharp Sight. So soon. Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. Not giving them an easy challenge with Braum. I have been sent by the king himself. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. I will earn a trick or two. Surprised they threw the karma in front of the Honored Lord like that. But, you know, maybe they just have frostbite or something. I'm a little surprised by that. Alright, so let's rally and hopefully strike, you know, if this doesn't get denied. Hopefully, yeah, it looks like it's going to get denied. The plan would be to strike with Garen again and then be able to level up Garen so that we'd be able to... Oh, <laughs> never mind, there's a... Gotta go. Never mind. Alright. Two and two. Lurkers. Man, it's been a long time since we beat Lurkers. Can we defeat Lurkers with this deck? I don't know. We'll send both of these back. We need you need like lots of bodies against Lurkers. And unfortunately, like, where the size matters against a lot of other decks, size doesn't matter as much against Lurkers, because once they start attacking and lurking, all their things have, like, tons of power. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. It can be undone! Very good start for them. But good start for us as well. I'm, I'm ready. The young prince will be found. Keep the pace. Listen to me. So don't exactly have time for the Grand Plaza, I don't believe. Uh, hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow there's a, a patch announcement. We haven't seen that exactly yet because, again, it's, it'd be not, it'd be, it will be announced tomorrow if there is, you know, a big balance patch or not. That will be announced tomorrow, and then... I'll play you, get some challengers, and then it'll be implemented on Wednesday. Oh, man. Mm. 
Man, I want to be able to <laughs> play Battlesmith before that Vanguard. I guess I guess maybe the best play is maybe we just go Grand Plaza Honored Lord. Years take experience gives. I've learned a trick or two. So there's only two spells. It's either Pike Spell or Pike's Champion Spell. It's one of those two. Pike's Champion Spell. Bone Skewer. Down. Try. Nice try. Ooh. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Sturdy blades, custom. So battlesmith, and then poppy. All right, now I guess we'll just go. All these things are four twos. Next round, Poppy, because Poppy's going to grow everything. But man, Garen's so important to get leveling up. Ugh. Which one do we do? Garen? All right, now we're now we're playing Garen, because we got it. Because Judge, like, this is a great Judgment matchup. Bingo. All right, so... Okay, we need one more strike with this Garen. Wait, do we have single combat in this deck? We have two single combats in this deck. This is game number five, and we haven't seen a single, single combat. Which would that would that be a double combat? Oh, we haven't seen any of those. The entire game. In any of those five. That's a win. Three and two. Alright, so there we go. That was Sithria Elite. We uh Ended up going three and two. Not so bad, even though we never did see that single combat to help out. <laughs> but, you know, we, we lost to a couple of good quality uh, decks that were, you know, really strong decks. And, uh, you know, no, no shame in either of our losses against some of the better decks in the metagame with us just playing a little elite meme tier deck. But I think that the, the deck was pretty solid. There was a lot of good stuff to like about Poppy, Garen, a bunch of bodies, and some good challengers. We got to do some cool stuff with Honored Lord in particular. Really like how this card looked. It's only two mana investment, and then it was frequently a large challenger uh, with you know with the barrier. Uh, you know, it was either larger because of Battlesmith, larger with like the plus one from the Grand Plaza, or is getting buffed by Poppy, or is getting buffed by Scythia the Bold. You know, is getting buffed by a lot of stuff. So I really liked how the Honored Lord looked, um, but, but everything else also looked pretty good. So good. Good little Scythria, all Scythria Elite deck here. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments and let me know what y'all thought of the deck. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it as well. But that's going to be it here for Scythria Elites. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.